Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Crowded Learning and recently I was asked by a teacher if there is a Skillblocks app. There is not an app at the moment, however that doesn't mean that we can't have students basically operating it as though it were an app. And so during today's video what I'm going to do is show you how you can load Skillblocks onto a student's phone using whatever their web browser is and then add Skillblocks to their home screen so that anytime that they want to visit Skillblocks, there's an icon with the Skillblocks logo on their home screen and all they have to do is click on that to launch it. We're going to be walking through how to do this both on an iPhone as well as on an Android device. Okay, so what we are looking at right now is an emulator of an iPhone. And so with this emulator, I'm going to show you basically uh, the steps that students would follow in order to launch Skillblocks on their web browser on an iPhone and then add it to their home screen. So um, again, this is, I get one minute in here. So I'm going to click on the home button, which brings me here. And then I'm going to launch Safari, which is iPhone's web browser. And then I'm going to click or tap into the URL um, address bar. And I'm going to enter in skillblocks.org. Now that is going to bring me to the Skillblocks home screen, which is what you see here. Now on a Apple device down here, there's a share button and it gives the students lots of options for how to share it. One of those is add to home screen. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to rename it Skillblocks and then done. And now Skillblocks appears as an icon on my screen. When I click it, it's going to launch me into this web page. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on an Android device. And so we're going to get into this emulator. And again, I'm going to click on my home screen and on uh, Android's Google Chrome is the default web browser. So I'm going to launch Google Chrome and I'm going to again enter in skillblocks.org. Here is that website as it appears within Chrome. Now in Chrome and on Android devices, you have this little button up here and you have the ability to add to home screen by going right here. And so again, I'm going to give it a name. So I am going to call it Skillblocks and I'm going to click add. And then when I do that, still in the web browser, I'm going to go back to my home screen and I see now that there is a Skillblocks icon right here. And when I click on that, it is going to bring me to this login screen for students to enter in a code. So there it is. That's pretty easy. And one thing to note that this isn't just something that you can do with Skillblocks. You could do this with any website that you wanted that you want to be and plan to be accessing on a regular basis. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more tips about how to use Skillblocks or some other technology tips in education, please subscribe to the Crowded Learning YouTube channel, and I hope to see you soon.